Hello. I am right now up to my eyeballs in this stuff. A friend of mine gave me a huge bag of these snake plant leaves and I'm turning them into this. And I'd like to make a video and show you why I'm, why I'm doing this and what you can do with this. I also have a good, good amount of this left over as well. And I'm planning to do something with this stuff too. And I'll talk to you about that while I work. And why, yes, I am using the good silver. I have a number of these knives that I use for craft purposes and I do not use them for dinner. So all you really need is something to scrape your leaves with, the leaves themselves, and a board of some sort to protect your good dining table. This knife is not sharp at all and I'm just using it to scrape the leaves without tearing or breaking the fibers. And I'm scraping off the green fleshy bits to expose the stringy fibers, the what are called the bast fibers, the fibers that move fluids, liquids up and down the plant. And I want then those are the those are the parts of the leaf that I'm after here. So I'm scraping out all of the outside skin and fleshy parts off the leaf to get to those fibers in the middle. And this takes a little while. Now, why am I doing this, you might ask? Well, it's it's part of my ancestral cloth research. And in my research, I, I found that, I think it's likely that this particular plant, snake plant, which has a scientific name of Sansevieria zelanica, is likely the plant that was used to make clothing and make make fabric in the olden days in Sri Lanka. Curiously, it is native to Sri Lanka and these days it only grows in protected reserves so people no longer use it and ironically it's a very common house plant and hence quite readily available where I live. And as I mentioned, a friend of mine gave me a huge bag of these fibers and I'm playing around to see what I can do with it. I'm hoping to scrape off enough of the leaves to so that I'll have enough fiber to hopefully weave into a small piece of cloth but as you'll see you don't get very much fiber from an individual leaf and it takes quite a bit of time to scrape each one but for now I'm just working on a few a day and once I've scraped off all the green parts this is what I'm left with and I'm going to now show you one of the things that you can do with this fiber with these fibers you can make some ropes so this process is called making cordage or twining I'm starting out with two clumps of fibers well I took one clump and separated it into two bundles and I'm starting out with one of those two bundles I'm holding them together separated and the first and I'm going to grab the bundle on the right and then I'm going to twist it away from the other bundle and then I'm going to flip it over the bundle that's on the left and now there's the now the two bundles have switched places so now I'm going to again take the bundle that's to the right and twist it in a clockwise manner and then flip it over the other bundle and I just keep repeating this so I twist I take the bundle that's on the right hand side and I twist it away from the other bundle and then I flip it over twist and flip twist and flip and you just keep going and you can do this in either direction for whatever reason I don't know why I always start with the bundle that is on the right hand side and I twist it in a clockwise manner and then I flip it over to the left. You can certainly do it the other way around but the only thing that you have to remember is whichever bundle you start with you twist it away from the other bundle and then flip it back over. Twist it away and flip it over and you just keep going and going and going and eventually you have something that looks like a pretty effective piece of rope. So let's repeat that twist, 
and flip over. Twist and flip over. And this this process, you can do it with all kinds of materials. You can do it with long, with anything long and narrow. So you can do it with long, thin leaves. You can do it with dandelion stems. You can do it with yarn. In fact, this is how yarn is made. It's called plying. You can also cut strips of fabric into long lengths and twist them together like this to make rope. And as you can see, it makes a fairly strong piece of rope there. And it just really impresses me that you can take a leaf and turn it into rope. I, To me, it's just magical that you can do that. Another interesting thing that I found while I was while I was looking through my bookshelf one day, I came across this book on making making paper. And the book has different different sections on how to make paper, but it also has quite a comprehensive list of different plants that you can use to make paper. And I was surprised to find it does in fact have the snake plant here, Sansevieria zelanica, and it has a process here. So remember I mentioned that I had a bunch of leftover pulp leftover as well, and I'm planning to do something with this stuff too. Well, I'm going to use that pulp to see if I can make some paper. If it works, there may be another video coming up. And hopefully there will also be another video showing you how I managed to make some yarn and then turn it into cloth in the future. So this could also be a multi-part video. Well, thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.